What's up guys, it's Crypto Mikel here coming to you today with another how-to video on Hive OS. Today we will be talking about BIOS modding your AMD cards and how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm using the Bio, Bio, Polaris BIOS editor, one-click, timing patches. Um, it's real simple. Hive OS lets you flash your BIOS cards. It's built into Hive, so it you don't got to unplug your cards and then plug them into Windows. But I mean, you're gonna need a Windows computer to BIOS mod, or you can use Linux if you know how to do that. Um, so yeah, I just recorded a whole video for y'all, and it didn't. I never switched my camera view, so we're gonna redo everything. Kind of. I'll show you how to do everything I can. So, without further ado, guys, we'll get into this. Um, yeah. So, this video is brought to you today by Crypto Mikel Designs. Please, guys, go there, give this place some visits, some, some love. Um, Go here, subscribe to our newsletter, you know, my Instagram, you yeah, my email. If y'all need to ask me a personal question about mining, anything, y'all can just, you can even shoot me a mail there. Um, you know, my YouTube, artwork, all my stuff. Go give it some love. Uh, whatever y'all do there helps me support this channel, um, so we greatly appreciate it. Now. Without further ado, you will go here to Hive OS. You click on the rate that you want to BIOS mod, and you're going to want to click Overclocking. So you click Overclocking, and you'll want to download your vBIOS. So you'll select the card, card three. I've already done, I've already downloaded mine. So uh, just click Download, and then give it a second, and then you will click this link right here. Um, I have a, as you see right here, it is a RX 560. My three card rig has now become a four card rig. Um, I now have four cards. The last card I picked up is a local, was a local card, uh, RX 560, basically brand new, uh, 60 bucks. So yeah, totally worth it. Asus, it's an Asus Strix, so it's a dual fan, which is awesome. gotta love it um, so you'll click this link right here and it will download the ROM onto your computer as soon as you download the ROM uh, as you can see first this cart's pushing about 3.6 to 4 souls which is pretty good um, for an RX 560 uh, you will go to your Polaris BIOS editor you will open your your BIOS. I named it right here. Um, or this is the one. So you click open. It'll open it all up, and you will just click one click timing patch. Okay. Uh, apply changes and then save as. Uh, make sure you save it as something. I've already saved it, but right, right there. Saved, done, exit. Now you'll come back in here, you go to flash, vBIOS, you will click the BIOS that you need to flash, select the card that you want to flash, click force flashing, ignore security checking, otherwise it'll fail every time. Do that, and then click upload. Don't click it twice, just click it one time, it'll take it a second. And then now as you can see it says ROM flashing OK. Now reboot. So we will I like I like to hard reboot my rigs. I don't when I'm doing stuff like this, you know, it gives it a good refresh. Just give it a second. Um, as you can see I had to change my oh my gosh. I hit my desk, sorry guys. I changed the whole layout of my three card rig. My fans are in the front now, because here's my three. And now the RX 560 is right here. Um, he runs pretty cool. 
so he doesn't need the fan directly on him. Um, I mean, we'll see how that goes after we BIOS mod him, because sometimes they, they run a lot harder, hotter after that. Alright, so we are up and running. As y'all can see, I will put y'all back in this screen view. So we have rebooted. for it so everything was good Straight out of the gate, we're pushing three point. It was three point nine. Um, so we we'll, I mean, we'll give it a second because it'll take it a second to catch up and start doing really good. And then we got three point four when I refreshed. So the it isn't, but it's now BIOS modded. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting fours. Just gotta give it a second. And I have not added anything to. As you can see, I added zero to the core and zero to the memory. There we go. There's 4.8. Probably be pushing 4.8 to 5 without BIOS modding or without overclock tuning. So I'm gonna let this run for a little while and I will post final numbers down in the description when the video is fully posted. Um, Pushing 3.7 according to this. So let's let it sit here. I will post. I'll post everything that it's doing right now down in the description below for sure. Um, it is BIOS modded now, so it's already doing better than it was straight out of the box. Um, it's like probably only maybe like one mega add, or one soul added on. That's without tuning. So we'll let it run for a little bit. I'll post stuff down in the description. And then tomorrow I'll make a video of tuning it. After it's been running for about 24 hours. That's usually my usually my go-to. I've had this card running for 24 hours before I BIOS monitored it to see what it was getting and it was pulling in pretty low twos to sometimes fours so it, it fluctuated uh, now we're going from threes to almost fives so we're moving up it's a good direction um, yeah there's almost five again so that's good um, so tomorrow we'll tune it and then we'll make another video of that guys so 
I will see y'all next time. Peace out, guys.